By nine and then lost in double OT. We are raising breast cancer awareness tonight. It's pick night inside Dr. Pepper Arena. The legends with new uniforms ever. And our uh, staff here with Channel 47 and Texas Legends, we're all wearing pink as well. And it's a festive night in so many ways. Pledger short on the three. John Butler, Barat Ramnanan, and Charles Rubia are our three officials for tonight's contest. The tallest player on the court right now for the Spurs, uh, Caddy Lelane checks in at just 6'9". Johnson spinning to the free throw line. Back rims of it, Lelane the offensive board. Second chance, he gets it to go. Fish, I'd like to assure you that the Legends won't lose by 56 tonight. At least, I would feel very comfortable offering up that opinion. Well, one of the themes of the last couple nights is puppies you just saw there, the Legends covering theme tonight. The mid-range jump shot gets challenged. The long-range jump shot is difficult. Layups are easy if you can pull them off. And the Legends have enough high flyers to be able to get above the rim, you would think, but that hasn't been the case this week. Holloway, just inside the free throw line, he knocks it down. We talked to Nick Van Exel about to Holloway, and we talked to Donnie Nelson, the map about as close as you get to the NBA dream without actually realizing it. Well, he spent time playing overseas. He's been there and done that. It's the NBA game that's evaded him so far. Sykes misses the three-point attempt, and here's Pledger. One of the newest legends, but no longer the newest, trying to take it coast to coast, and he does take it coast to coast. He hasn't done much of that in his short stint here. But if he can add the ability to take the trades, as the Legends did when they brought Manny Harris here from the Defenders, a deal that really worked out well for the time he was here and worked out well for him as he used Texas as a springboard to get his overseas deal. All the way, the floor general trying to make things happen. And try to feed Ashley, deflected out of bounds, and he'll stay with the Legends. 12 on the shot clock. Ed Fisher, 105.3 the fan as well. Jared, our man on baseball and more. Fun by. Thomas, heel on the line, and he knocks down the straightaway Jay. Yeah, that party's at Dave & Buster's in Dallas, by the way, and it's it's paper football, which is really just an excuse to have a party, although the paper football part is a blast. Ashley. A tournament, I think there's what is it, a $22,000 prize? $2,500. Two straight teams on the floor offensively for Texas. They've gone with flow. That Rip Carlisle borrowed concept. Points in the paint at this early stage. Thumbs up, thumbs up, and thumbs up for Texas. The Spurs with seven on the shot clock. Meticulously developing their offense, and it's intercepted by Holloway. Trying to take it coast to coast. Right-handed land, goaltending, and one must acknowledge the Supreme Dean before being able to hold public office. Not done on that illegal defensive play. Legends shooting 73% or just Legends up eight. And right back, another three hit by Caddy Lalane, who's got 10 early points for the Spurs, pacing the way for them to Holloway, leading the Legends with nine. Murray, little shake, stop, delivering it to Ashley. Try to spin the lane off the glass, but Lalane protecting the rim, altered the shot. Sykes, who does a nice, that's one of his strengths. Didn't get the layup to go there, but created a second chance opportunity. And Deshaun Thomas cleans up the trash. You know the legends sometimes, and they've done this this week a little bit more than usual. Two doesn't always bring the ball up the floor. He carries such a load here that they'll spread that burden out and then get it across half court, and then he'll initiate the offense. Even at 21, thanks to the long ball for the Spurs. They're four of six from beyond the arc so far tonight. Murray, down low to Ashley. He's doubled by Sykes. Seven on the shot clock. Ashley, working on Lillane, taking it to him. And he can't get it to go, and a foul called as Ashley collides with... Not, not loving the bastardization of the game that way, but the Spurs are one of the best teams and one of the first teams to take full advantage of everything that can be done with the three-pointer, including the shorter corner three. 
And a corner three is a big part of the Spurs offense at the NBA level, and a big foul is and Doye crashed hard on two Holloway, who's going to play basketball. The step under the... Were you the team parent that would provide the orange slices after the game? I was that kind of guy, yeah. And Doye with the right hand, hooking it in off the window. I don't know that he could do that again. Kind of looked like he just threw it up there. <laughs> I would challenge the Spurs to have him do that again. Holloway, three ball. And that's off target. And Doye securing the rebound. Demetri McKay be into the game for the first time. For, I guess, can we call this a rivalry game? You've got the Mavericks affiliate and the Spurs affiliate going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the Lone Star State. Yeah, I wrote today on DallasBasketball.com a review of the Mavericks-Spurs game that we can't really call it a rivalry anymore. I think the Spurs won 14 in the last 16 there, and he just got beat by a million. But this isn't that. This is a Legends team that wants to secure a playoff berth and wants to know at Texas Legends on Twitter what does the coaching staff see in Patrick Miller and what have they seen over the last 10 games Travis what are your thoughts on Patrick Miller Patrick's had a lot of opportunity since the departure of uh, uh, forgive me uh, LA defenders Manny Harris that we traded for once Manny took off Pat's minutes increased and he's had an opportunity to grow as a point guard as well as a player who could step in and play alongside Ture Murray and two Holloway uh, and just kind of fill any one of them. I don't know, it's just an opportunity. It's not tough times, it's an opportunity. And Miller is certainly built to take advantage of that. Lillane, long on his baseline jump shot attempt. See if the Legends can make a run here. Pledger starts it off with a three. And a tie. Embarrassing. Now the, the target is... Sykes guarded by Miller inside the three-point line, and he knocks it down. He found a little seam there where the legends had a, I got him, you got him, no, I got him. I like you for Sykes' game. He's just 5'11", but he's going to be participating in the slam dunk contest. And speaking of dunks, Jamil Wilson with two hands pulling himself up a little bit. Boy, what a crafty feed from two. Thomas. Can't finish after receiving the ball in the short corner. Here come the Legends after a stop. Into their secondary offense, and now they pull it out with 15 to go in the shot clock. Holloway working with Wilson. Kicking corner, and Murray had his heel on the sideline. And he'll turn it back over to the Spurs. Legends want to keep... He sucks the defense with him, and... Holloway with a screen from Wilson. See, there it is. The drive and then kick back behind you to Wilson, who's open. Run it again. Two on the shot clock. Wilson's got to get it up. He does. And draws contact. He'll go to the line. Jared, that can be bread and butter here. Hypotheticals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he collides with Ndoye, but that was not, uh, it was incidental. And Johnson travels. Johnson's used that move a couple times tonight. And it Ten turnovers committed by the Spurs. Murray. Pledger to tie. And he can't get it to go. Steven Pledger tonight from behind the arc. And he's struggling again, one of four. I'm going to argue, by the way, that 156 to go in the first half. Well, you search for something to hang your hat on. And Travis Blakely can comment on this as we go. But I'm going to argue. The Texas Legends have played all year. Seven minutes of almost, almost near perfection defensively in terms of execution and energy. There's a technical foul that was assessed to spur during that break, and that's what allowed to Holloway to even. Lillane swinging it to Washburn. Three-pointer for the lead, and he hits it. Quickly up ahead, Holloway. Cut off by Sykes, backing him down. The smaller Sykes getting some help from Washburn, but he leaves Murray short on the three. And that'll give it back to the Spurs. Is it fluky that the Spurs with just three points a game? But this is a very good three-point shooting team. 
second in the league coming into tonight, shooting 40% or thereabout. McCamey splitting defenders, but he can't finish. Here comes Miller. Murray, even to back up, he's short on the three. Get five men back now. 35 seconds left in the half. Ejected by Wilson. Big time defense there from the Marquette product. And the Legends can hold for the final shots to close out the half. All the way, hesitation to the hoop, finger rolls it home. One point game, Murray the steal at the buzzer. Oh, just offline. And the Legends with a chance to take their first lead since the first quarter. Murray working it down low to Ashley. He gets double. Skip pass. Pledger. Here's Holloway. Five on the shot clock. Takes it to the hoop. Leaning back a high archer. He can't get it. Yeah. Lane snags the board. Two looked at the shot clock and thought, do we have time to just reset the... So did what he could with the possession. Another defensive stop for the Legends to start the half. And yet another chance to take their first lead since the first quarter. There was a nice halftime presentation raising awareness for breast cancer and honoring survivors of breast cancer. The Legends doing their part wearing the pink jerseys tonight. That shot was returned to sender with two hands. Two seconds left now on the shot clock. Got it. There was a nice halftime presentation raising awareness for breast cancer and honoring survivors of breast cancer. The Legends doing their part wearing the pink jerseys tonight. That shot was returned to sender with two hands. Two seconds left now on the shot clock. Got it. Catch it and throw it up there. The lob. Ashley fought away. Oh, just out. Phil Russell so good at blocking shots to team for another with the free throw attempt on its way. Now, Jared, that uh, slam dunk gives us momentum. I, get, I, I, do, I really do get that. But I also see, and I know you do too, so many guys that try the put-back slam dunk, for instance, and then it caroms off the back rim. To me, all you did was just miss a layup. So what what does it do? You don't see too many missed dunks at this level. It's it's a rare bird. But you're right. It's a missed opportunity to put two points on the board. Lelaine off the glass can't get it to go. Thomas, second chance, blocked. Legends with the ball pushing the tempo. Holloway, nice look away pass, but Murray shots blocked from behind Washburn directs it off course. And Lelaine right down the heart of the lane with the bucket and Nick Van Exel wanted a timeout. They did okay. by the legends. He he wants more. He wants better. Spurs with numbers. Thomas. Washburn. Can't get it to go. Good defense by Murray. He was the only one there. Ashley taken to the hoop and we've got a charge. Lelaine was waiting for him. Differently, I don't know, but yeah, no, and credit to Lelaine at, at 6'9. Cast by tweeting questions to the Texas Legends Twitter account at Texas Legends. We got a question from Danny Fish, and Danny wants to know Brandon Ashley made the D League prospect watch. What does he bring to an NBA roster? Well, he's got to get older. He is a baby, he's just a kid. And. It would probably be uh, beneficial to him to get prospect watch list. And Orlando Johnson, who, Alex, you know that you're just going to do what you've been doing for a long time. But right. when you get called from the Mongolian League to the Legends, you've got to know what they do on offense. You've right. got to know the flow offense. You've got to know set plays. You've you got to know the other defensive people. philosophies. Yeah. You've got to know strengths and weaknesses of your teammate, if you're a point guard especially. As Miller up and under, a crafty finish. There are a lot of components that go into this. And later on, we'll get Travis Blakely's thoughts. He's getting move weaknesses of your teammate if you're a point guard, especially. As Miller up and under, a crafty finish. There are a lot of components that go into this. And later on, we'll get Travis Blakely's thoughts. He's getting moved around because he was stealing someone else's seat. We'll let him get settled. <laughs> He's sitting in his slot. Travis. Your thoughts, obviously, you're involved in the adding and subtracting of players. Lack of practice times this, uh, this time of year in the season leads to 
pretty much film and shoot around opportunities. To but you're down seven, maybe about to be eight with four minutes left in the third. But I don't know that you're saying, okay, Cam Griffin's on the floor. Let's let's explode now as a five-man unit. I think you try to survive with him on the floor. Spurs have grown their lead to eight as Holloway turns it over. Washburn in transition, going to take it himself. And at an awkward angle, he lays it in, adjusting his body mid -air. And we got a timeout called by Nick Van Exel. Miller will take a breather now, Bobby Ray Parks, Jr. Part of the rotation now for the pink-clad legends. You can tell which team's the Spurs, and then by deduction, which team's the legends. But it's a different jersey every night for the legends, and we're raising awareness for breast cancer and white as well. Griffin and short on the fall away, but Thomas, the offensive rebound. Second chance, can't get it to go. Well, Thomas is the challenge right now for Wilson and the rest of the Spurs. He, he is really showing the capability of taking over inside. 14 points for Thomas. Holloway to the hoop, and he gets fouled. Holloway with a quiet second. Brawl, if you will, when Xavier took on rival Cincinnati. Holloway, who's one of the leaders of that Xavier team, was in the thick of things and received a lot of criticism from folks. And talking to Nick Van Exel the other day when we asked him if he's an NBA player, Nick said yes, he thinks he is, and really believes that he's a much better guy than people give him credit for, and that people are maybe hanging on to that one incident yeah. a little second of issues. He's been all about, to Holloway, all about doing the right thing here. He was the 2011 Atlantic 10 Conference Player of the Year, and named to several All-America teams. A guy that's had success at a big stage at the college level. Five on the shot clock, Pledger's got to put it up. And it's in and out. That's too bad, because that's a contribution from Singh there. Sent a really good screen, legal screen up there. Three seconds to go in the third quarter. This is your Bob Ortigal close the quarter strong moment right here. Lelaine has it poked away. Griffin pulling it out. Pledger, he's feeling it, taking to the hoop. Tried to drop it off, but no one was there. Spurs in transition and a smart foul by two Holloway. Had he not done that, it would have been an easy Holloway. All he didn't get it as we go to the break. 12 more minutes. To we just have to focus on being us. I think sometimes we play opponents, we get a little rattled, we lose our, you know, our identity a little bit. Our identity is to get up and down, space the floor, and uh, you know, equal opportunity shots. How has the zone formation defensively uh, helped this team to not just stay in the game, but get back when the uh, Spurs have taken a lead? A lot. To be quite honest, it's just rest. But, you know, we talked about staying aggressive at halftime. Down at the Austin bench. Miller. Low pass to Parks, otherwise he might have had a three-point look. Miller hesitating, attacking, and he draws the foul. Two's got to touch the ball on every trip. The changeup can't be your out pitch. Because if I know a changeup is coming, I'm going to hit it 450 feet. Would that be long enough to get it out of here, 450 feet? That would be long enough to get it out most places. <laughs> All of them these days. Wilson fakes the three. A little too hard for Parks. He corrals it, though, and lays it in with his left. It's unorthodox, but the legends are benefiting from little, and Mavericks fans should know this, he's just highly regarded up and down both organizations uh, for his willingness to just grab a broom and let's go. Well, he came from a great high school fish, so. Ah. Uh, we have an interactive question from Roberta Travis. With the legends making a playoff push, how do the D-League playoffs work? Well, after uh, all those compliments, I'm, I'm, I'm tickled pink over here, Coach. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but our, uh, I'm sorry, Jared, if you would repeat that question, you guys would. And the whole intention is for not for him to screen for other people. The intention for him is to eventually come off the screen and get the ball. Miller from 19 feet, back rim, but Pledger keeps the possession alive. Ashley and Lalane. 
Ashley's been quiet tonight. Corner three for two, and the foul! Nike, two for three. Yeah, that, that was almost a secondary break off a of baseline inbounds, full court. That wasn't good. And two Holloway missed a free throw. Pledger. Miller, three ball. Loose ball fought for, and it's going to stay here as Jamil Wilson was working hard to keep things. Hasn't gotten better for them at home. The homestand started on Wednesday. They lost a tough one in double overtime to the Iowa Energy before getting pummeled last night by the Raptors squad by 56. And they're hoping maybe that they could use this home court advantage against a really good Austin team. And Still with a shot as Wilson knocks it down, four-point game. And in that four-game streak, no singular pattern. Maybe a loss in the record is as good as it is. Three-point game. Johnson with 10 on the clock. Around the Thomas. Thomas screen. Yeah. Rolling, spinning, laying it in. Are you sick of me saying it? That's the guy. I think Nick Van Exel is probably sick of thinking about it. Pledger, three ball. He hits it. It's a two-point game, Fish, with everything that has seemingly worked in favor. There's Sykes in the lane, and he gets it to go. That's 22 for Kiefer Sykes. You can see him at the All-Star festivities participating in the slam dunk contest. Miller really taking it on his shoulders, and he's going to get fouled and go to the line. Well, he finds himself guarded by Lelaine. They're not used to being a gutsy. To Thomas, 10 on the shot clock. Lelaine, corner three, and we're tied. Everybody. Caddy Lelaine with points 20, 21, and 22. And you'll notice Patrick Miller, still the guy who's bringing the ball up the floor. Wilson fires a three. He knocks it down. A three-point barrage for the legend. Open three, but he shorts. Murray the rebound. The legends can make this a multiple possession game for the first time since the first quarter. They led 21-13 at one point. Ledger to the cup and the scoop. Well, there's been a handful of times, too, but he's done it inside the three-point line tonight. He's got 18 points for the Legends. Austin sneaks baseline there. That's a no-no. I'm not sure Wilson, and we'll see, and I hope I'm wrong, I'm not sure he's capable of doing very much. Miller hanging and banging. On how'd, he, how'd he get that one to go? And we got... All right, Legends up four inside of a minute. You notice now Holloway, and with no disrespect to anybody else who's done a great job here, but Holloway's in charge. Maybe a little acting there from Johnson. Wilson, open three, and it's short. But Murray with the rebound. And that's huge. The Spurs have to foul now with 36 and a half seconds. Quick three, hits it. And they're going to review it. And because of the situation, they're going to review it on it. Like that. Challenge it. <laughs> We'd be here forever. <laughs> Holloway gets it. That's the guy you want to get it. A 90% free throw shooter. He splits the trap and gets yep. fouled. Boy, you nailed it, Jared Sandler. You, you stepped. And that's why you want the ball in two's hands. I, I, I don't know that everybody.